Our goal is to identify the victims, the children, and that's exceptionally difficult, exceptionally difficult. But we can hold them accountable, and that's what our detectives did. Howdy, y'all. Hunky T here. Now, I know I told you earlier that I really don't like doing these types of uh, videos. And y'all kind of said that you really wanted to see them because, you know, it's it's good to know what kind of people you're dealing with in the world. And so I sucked it up, and, and I'll make you this one here. Now, it's going to have to be in two or three parts because the original video is over half an hour. So I'm trying to cut them down to bite-sized pieces. And so this here one's going to be a little shorter. It's just going to take you right up to the point where he starts introducing all the fine people that he's taken into custody. So anyways, on that note, this was just before Christmas, by the way. So on that note, here y'all go. Because it's Christmas time. And I think at Christmas time, you ought to deliver presents. And we do. We send... We deliver presents of arrest warrants to the bad guys, and we deliver presents of relief and support for the victims of criminal conduct. One of the very top priorities here at the Sheriff's Office is to protect children and protect children who are victimized by evil, sinister criminals, and that's what these folks are. Interestingly enough, these folks who have engaged over a period of time, and we don't know how long because they don't confess that to us, don't have a criminal history. But yet they've sat in the confines of their home and through child pornography, sexually abused children. That's right. Every time a child porn image is rebroadcast or is replayed, it's victimization again. Our goal is to identify the victims, the children, and that's exceptionally difficult, exceptionally difficult. But we can hold them accountable, and that's what our detectives did. It's important for me to point out to you that our detectives that work these investigations are simply the very best in the business. But this is, for all the levity about arresting people at Christmas, there's something I need to share with you because I need to frame just how deviant these folks really are. When my detectives have to mentally put their life on the line to, to view these images and search for these images on devices, they tell me, you know, when the infants still have the medical bracelet on their wrist or on their foot from the hospital from being born and they're already being sexually abused. He said, when I see babies being sexually abused that still have their umbilical cord attached, that's as gross and as horrible as it gets. And then these folks get the light out of watching that and fantasizing about that. So that's how sinister and that's how evil, that's how sick this conduct is. But as we did this roundup, we began this operation on December 1st. We had the youngest we arrested was 20. The oldest we arrested was 47. And as you go through, you'll hear about what we did. We have filed today 2,364 felony charges against these folks. We'll go through and talk about their pedigrees. Collectively, they've got about a $12.5 million bond. They were kicked off of platforms, social media platforms, because the platform recognized the conduct, and they would change names or change complete identities, sometimes change different devices, and get back on the platform. So you know they know it's illegal, but they keep doing it anyway. The shocking thing about it, to me, still is the overwhelming majority of these committed all this crime in the silence and hidden in their homes. But let's there you go, my friends. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. I hope you all enjoyed seeing that because I think it cost me just a little bit of my soul. Anyway, 
I got nothing else to say. Y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.